We began with talks to have an ongoing doctor's strike and have once again collapsed. For the fourth time this week, the Ministry of Labor, an arbitrator in the stalemate, has failed to resolve a dispute between the doctor's union and the Ministry of Health regarding a 300% pay hike promised to doctors in 2013. And as KTN's Timothy Otieno now reports, the validity of the 2013 document signed between the Ministry of Health and the Doctors' Union may be the hard nut to crack in solving the crisis. There is no white smoke emanating from the Ministry of Labor just yet. After lengthy deliberations between Labor Cabinet Secretary Phyllis Kandie and Doctors' Union representatives that spanned more than five hours, no resolution has been reached. We have a stalemate. Uh, we don't have a solution yet. Uh, so the doctors will uh, still uh, be on strike. Well, the three parties have not uh, reached uh, or concluded their discussions. Uh, we um, are hopeful that um, they will come to a conclusion soon. The bone of contention still remains this document signed on the 27th of June 2013 and meant to take effect 1st July that same year that government admits is legal. What they say isn't is an article on the 13th page of the document. According to Article 4 of the Collective Bargaining Agreement touching on remuneration, implementation of the salary review would be put on hold until the Salaries and Remuneration Commission provided clear guidelines on setting salaries for doctors in public service. At least it is this clause that caused the Labor Relations Court in October 2015 to order both parties to reach an agreement within 90 days before the collective bargaining agreement would take effect by officially being registered by the court. And a clause that is now a thorn in the flesh for those on the negotiating table. The salaries that they will agree, that the two parties will agree, the employer and the employee, um, has to be uh, a salary that is practical, that it can be implemented, and the two have to sit down and iron it out. We have not yet reached there. We don't even have a roadmap to reaching there. We still have a stalemate. So until such a day that the government becomes serious to solve the Kenyan's problem by solving the doctor's problem, which is implementation of the CBA, we will still have this stalemate and we will still have the doctor's strike going on. Despite numerous attempts to resolve the issue, it appears Kenyans will for the time being have to contend with no medical attention from doctors in all public health institutions countrywide, even as the strike going comfortably into its second week continues to cause strain in Kenya's public health system. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.